Hello. So, we are doing a reading on Gamork. Why Gamork? Because so, someone reminded me about the never ending story. And then the one chick with the pretty face. It's talking about. B the baboon, the baboon, the crown of Venus shit. Um, I should probably link her stuff, honestly, because she's kind of cool. She's not crazy. Not yet, anyway, but once she gets old enough, she will, just like the rest of us. Anyway, you're probably wondering who Gamork is. Gamork is the wolfy thing. Yeah? So anyway, the Gamorg is the wolf thing in the never-ending story, right? We're gonna go over out the script really quick. <clears throat> and the music's all dramatic, because that's how that works. So, when Atreyu finally meets Gwark in the ruined spook city, the true nature of Fantasia, the nothing in its purpose is revealed. The Gamorg starts it off by saying, If you come any closer, I will rip you to shreds. And Treyu asks, who are you? Gamork says, I am Gamork, and you, whoever you are, can have the honor of being my last victim. I will not die easily, says the Treyu. I am a warrior. Gamork laughs. Ha, brave warrior, then fight to nothing. The Treyu's like, but I can't. I can't get beyond the, the boundaries of Fantasia. He stutters, little shit. Gamork just laughs at him, and Treyu just gets angry. And then Atreyu's like, what's so funny about that? Fantasia has no boundaries. Gamor claps. That's not lying. Or, right, wait, what? Hold up, bitch. That's not true. You're lying. <laughs> and Gamor says, foolish boy, don't you know anything about Fantasia? It's the world of human fantasy. Every part, every creature of it is a piece of the dreams and hopes of mankind. Therefore, it has no boundaries. And Trey asks, but why is Fantasia dying then? Because the people have begun to lose their hopes and forget their dreams, so the nothing grows stronger. What is the nothing? Trey asks. The Mork answers, it's the emptiness that's left. It's like a despair destroying this world, and I've been trying to help it. But why? Because people who have no hopes are easy to control. And whoever has control has the power. So Atreyu asks, who are you really? Gamork says, I am the servant of the power behind the nothing. I was sent to kill the only one who could have stopped the nothing. I lost him in the swamps of sadness. His name was Atreyu. <laughs> the ground shakes again. There's lightning every fucking way or trees burning for no reason in the backyard. And Atreyu's knocked down, but he gets back up with a knife-shaped piece of broken stone that just conveniently ex mock a knifed itself there. And he screams, if we're about to die anyway, I'd rather die fighting. Come for me, Gamork. I'm Atreyu. That's from the movie script, that's not from the book, but still it was right there. It's just like, that's who we're reading for today, because it's important. Someone reminded me of the Never Ending Story, and then like, what? Sargol Ori frame is. I should link her videos because, like, they're actually, I think, important. But at the same time, I don't know. Because if she's got shit going on, whereas I had shit going on, there's no reason for us to be, like, giving each other fucking weirdos, new people to fuck. I don't know. Like, it's confusing. Everyone's losing their shit. Hmm. Lunar Eclipse? Oh, okay. When the sun, moon, and earth are in alignment in that order. Maybe. Conjunction? Lunar Eclipse is in conjunction with something? How the fuck does that even work? I'm not that good. During the first quarter,
Weird? Okay. Lunar eclipse only happens on a full moon when the sun and moon opposing each other. Energy and loot. This is like a mega full moon. It's associated with major world events. It can bring up a ton of emotions. The lunar eclipse is perfect time to do some personal reflection and let go of anything holding you back. But there's a conjunction between it during an eclipse and possibly something else that goes into the first quarter. In this phase, the moon is 50% lit. Oh, yeah, never mind, never mind, I did math wrong. It's 50% lit, with the sun illuminating it on its right side. The name first quarter comes from the fact that the moon is a quarter away through its Earth orbit. This phase brings growth and understanding to the lessons of the new moon. You can also test your commitment to those lessons. The first quarter moon is the perfect time to reassess your intentions and decide what parts your plans need in order to be revised. People born in this phase are typically passionate and action-oriented. Something happened between a lunar eclipse while I was conjunct with something in this first quarter. Is there any way I can get you to tell me what it was conjunct with? Blood moon? What? That makes no sense. Oh, wait, 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 If the blood moon occurs during a total lunar eclipse when the Earth is between the sun and the moon, and the Earth's position causes the sunlight to appear with a reddish-orange tint on the moon's surface. During this time, the moon's energy is extra intense and can bring opportunities for personal discovery and the manifestation of deeply held dreams. What? Like, when the moon was all weird and shit? A couple months back, and I was telling everyone, leave the fucking moon alone. Like, I've been telling y'all, leave the moon alone. This one, was it this? Was it this? Because this says total lunar eclipse. That's lunar eclipse. Who did it? Who did it? Which one of y'all ignored me when I said, don't fuck with the moon? I've been telling y'all, stop messing with the moon. But apparently, I just talked to myself. So that's what happened. <clears throat> And it was conjunct with something. Maybe that was the conjunction. I don't fucking know. I'm not that good with astrology. I know little baby things. I'm an idiot at heart. Not a student because, like, fuck that. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> so, good morning. Let's see what's going on with y'all. We all might surely have one of our own. You might not and not understand what the fuck is going on. It's okay. I got you. Just sit there and watch the show. This could resonate with you. It could not. I don't give a damn. You shouldn't either. Not to the point of at me, anyway. Oh, that risk was not worth taking. We can see right there the small, there we go, the small unraveling of the rope. It's barely noticeable. It snapped. Like a bitch in Victoria snap. <laughs> Let's see. Got the temperance right here. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. So, like, is someone trying to fuck over Sagittarius? Did it work for you? That's the question. No. 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 Well, Gamoric, I'm sorry. Also, I thank you to whoever mentioned the Never Ending Story, because I would have not even thought of that. It's actually way more important than what you thought. I think I uploaded something about this, but I'm not sure. I know I recorded it. Or maybe that was the other time. I don't know. Like... Don't mind me. It's, I'm just talking. Uh, someone might be trying to get out of the woods. Oh, who fuck, man. Something didn't happen with the Gamork. 
I'm calling it the Gamork like an article. I don't want it to be its name. I want it to be like a professional title. I'm cool like that. Bullshit with this King of Wands could be Leo Sagittarius Aries. So oh. they don't want to be stressed, depressed to the max, and they really don't want to can food for the winter or deal with that shit. The blue flame is dampened and flickering. The flame is sickness, but they got a crush on possibly on you. They can also be a drunken necromancer, which is like. Mm. That's who their focus is on. No, it's I got a crush on you. Like, flat out. Candle wax and cat shit in a bag. Pharisees in the streets weakling underneath. Allegedly. What? Oh, they're asking. Okay, so this is what so this is what this motherfucker was saying to somebody. <clears throat> One shit flips her hair like a horse. Oh, backstabber. Ooh, ooh. The mark is just an asshole. This mark is an asshole. <laughs> totally, totally. Yeah. Um, what this person is doing is not. Cool. It's like they're going around saying something about somebody else. But they like them though. That's the thing. It's like the blue flames flickering and dampening. The flame sickness. Because they're canning food for the winter and they're pretty. I don't get it. What did y'all hex someone and now they got now they and now it turned into a love spell? Is that what happened? What'd you do? I'm I'm just letting you know you can't start a marriage with a kidnapping. That's a bad idea. Don't ever do that. They'll never go away and you'll probably end up hating them or some shit. I don't know. I've seen that happen. You can't be casting love spells on people because like then it's like they go obsess over you. You'll end up hating them. Or in at least driving them away. Or just decimating a person. Uh, whoever took those risks and failed is because they were very childlike. Or they just didn't know any better, maybe. I don't entirely believe that, but okay. Okay. <laughs> I think they were childlike, but uh, there's a temperance card when it comes to commitment. Being so patient. Or at least they feel like they can be patient, and that'll help them get out of the woods, but it's like. <clears throat> Got a lot of worries that are being drawn out. Ooh! Somebody knows. And the moon's touching their crown. Mm. Someone's moon crown is all crazy. Mm. It's really clay. Yeah, it's just soft. They're trying to rush their way out of the woods, get out of this, stay alive. They might be in defensive mode. They might bite, but only to protect themselves. Oh, okay. I feel like I got a crush on you. Or words. The kiss kiss. Yeah, sure. Whatever. This feels like... Consequence, you know, like, dude, classical music is so out there. <clears throat> so, I 
someone take a risk with a child? Or acting like a child? Or behaving like a child? Like, hey ho! Hey ho! There are two cats drinking, but there are three bowls. Plenty of water. There's a cat missing. These motherfuckers are just sl slopping the shit out everywhere. Uh, the other cat is in a chair they are not even comfortable in. Probably scratching that shit up. Oh, the world is a, 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 as comfortable with the nipples as they thought. They went on Facebook. They got censored immediately because they could see the nipples through the shirt. They got eight. The world's all fucked up. Some bitch called it. Possibly... Pisces, because that's her card. She might have called to be like, I told you. A tower moment isn't happening, though. Because two cats are able to prance around in a meadow of happiness. But if that's the case, why is this one so uncomfortable? Two cats and the third cat is just... Hmm. <coughs> it's a matter, little buddy. You don't want to play with your friends. No, it, it, it is like it's not a balance. Could be dealing with a cancer. Hmm. Somehow there's a risk that's been taken. You know? Didn't work out for him. This is based on very childish shit, right? There are two cats drinking over here. This cat should be over with them. They can't. They don't have a balance. They aren't getting the start they were supposed to get. They were supposed to be played with and they weren't. Because these two cats are too busy drinking out the bowl. They'll probably drink this other motherfucker's bowl too since he ain't there. Uh, and showing up because he wants to be invited and shit. <laughs> Whoever this Gmork is in this energy, they don't have any initiative to do anything for themselves. That's for sure. They are also really, really fucking greedy. What the hell? Like, someone's really patient with their commitments, but it's like... They just blow, like, they at any offer and then, like, tear shit up. That is their entire purpose. Someone's still having patience wanting to keep them for a reason. <clears throat> it's like, even though these two cats are drinking, they're not drinking out of their bowl. So, it's like, they're still kind of invited, but they're expecting to be told to come over. And it's just like, well, you get a fly out of the house, man. Like, invite people or something. What is wrong with you? It's like they stay cooped up. Or something. Could be, I mean, could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Especially with the Queen of Wands on top of the... Uh, temperance card. I am, like, brain fogging like a motherfucker today. Also, Leo Aries. Could be this person's counterpart energy, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm. If someone's really young and willing to play, though, they're, they're willing to play this game. Or maybe they get distracted to other things. It's like, I'm not dealing with your attitude. This person wants to hang out and have a good time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever this Gamork is, they're very greedy. Like, definitely Gamork's character, just very jealous, anxious. Like, treat someone like garbage, and then act surprised when they want to go play with someone who's actually willing to play with them. And then get the hell attitude about it, because it didn't work out the way they thought it would. 
I think this individual thought that they were like, no, it's not good enough for me. Someone will go get something better. They didn't. They got distracted by other shiny stuff. And then they made a friend. And now they're all upset because they're better friends than Gamork. And Gamork is just having all sorts of feelings. They feel like, well, I should be invited over if he keeps inviting them. And it's just like... <clears throat> oh! Can you not invite yourself? Can Can you open your mouth and tell people you want to be there? It's all in their emotions. Feeling like all their thoughts are going to come in and pale them from the top of the head. Like someone's trying to let you reach in that bucket of emotion being like, Hey man, I, I, I see you down in the bottom, you okay? All nighty cups and shit. Definitely could be a water sign. Oh my god. Okay, so, imagine that you got a friend. They're always talking about their issues. You try to get them to talk about their issues. They fully shut you out. You'd be sitting there waiting for three fucking days to have this conversation. The day of the conversation, just like, I, can't, I just can't have this today. I've been anxious about it all week. And you've been like, you've been anxious for the last 12 years. But okay, man. But then they keep coming to you later bitching about shit, too. But it's like, do you want to talk about it, man? No, I don't want to talk about it. I'll figure it out myself. <clears throat> okay, man. Alright. A few days later, a motherfucker does it again. And you're just like, do you want to talk about it? And you're in the end. Imagine this for months. Someone might get frustrated with that, you know, like they're actually trying to be understanding and the, and, and the, the Mork is not so much. <clears throat> mm. They're stalling? Oh, just be, oh god. <coughs> Y'all ever have that one friend? Who, no matter what you try to do, they play games with you constantly. Like, this Gamork person doesn't even invite themselves in the situations they're welcome to come to. People try to offer them things, they scoff it, and then, like, they just start knocking over tables. Especially when the people who they're trying to attach to or cause them to be attached to Mork finds other people they can relate to. Then all of a sudden this motherfucker feels sour. They can have people who care come up, try to have conversations, try to help them out. They will stall like a motherfucker and make them wait on purpose just to watch them like be sad or some shit. Like Jesus Christ. So now whoever was I was dealing with them is trying to get out of this situation with them. Or they're trying to stay on this burden path. They're defensive. They'll actually bite someone if they feel threatened. This person might actually like whoever's dealing with this like a morgue, um, they might be getting gaslit. They might be going through it with this individual too. Like they might even feel like there's no escape. Mm -hmm, Queen of Cups. What is those? And all the water signs? All but the night. All but the night. Oh no, the night's out here. Never mind. I mean the page, I think. Yeah, the page. The page ain't out here. This person just wants to go to sleep on the counter. Like, let me put my leg out and just be gentle and sleep. You know, this person, I don't know if that freaks them out or not. Like, it's like, how dare you get comfortable in front of me? <laughs> What is this? They're like, oh my goodness, like, they, like they're scared of distractions this way for some reason. There's some behind them. Is this all destruction they left behind? Because I feel like this is a pretty destructive person. I feel like they grab your shit and like throw it around or something. Yours, not theirs. Yours specifically because they care about their stuff. 
I feel like we can't keep them hands to themselves. But there's something behind them that's like freaking them fuck out. Like, oh my god. Someone's got some secrets they're hiding, but they're covering it up with love. An abundance of love. This is a gaslighting motherfucker, I swear. And then they makes the person lash out. Don't be silly, I love you, I don't know why you like, I don't know, these streets are pretty stale, that's probably why I was <laughs> whipping my claws out, man. Mmm. Mmm. So, <clears throat> what happened? All these cats are drinking except for this one. This one's got an attitude. They feel like everything's out of whack because they weren't invited. They weren't made to feel special. They're, dig they're just looking for reasons to pout. Honestly. It's like, it, it, like, it, like, I'm almost getting pissed because it's almost like an insult to my intelligence, too. Because, like, the more I'm looking over this, the more it's like, I can see exactly what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> like, I can see, like, this person wants the other person to be codependent in a way where, um... Their happiness is what someone constantly depends on. Like, you didn't do this for me. You weren't doing that for me. Causing someone to lose focus completely on themselves because they were too worried about how they might be doing something wrong to another person. And it's just like... Okay. I'm not apologizing for being myself just because you're completely uncomfortable with it. Oh, that started a whole bunch of fights. They decided to fight Buggy. They just, just argued with everybody. And then they had... Uh, <laughs> no whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Oh, of course the music was kicking like that. Someone is really mad that you're better than them just for the simple fact that you don't even bother thinking about being better than like you know it's one of those things where like someone says that you're perfectly fine with yourself they create issues and I feel like this person created so many issues that people actually possibly came up to bat for you and now they're terrified because it's just like oh my god this person has the upper hand what do I do or something and it's just like what the fuck I'm work just come out of your cave and fight, bro. What's the matter? Can you not fight the Dudley? I mean, technically, Gamoric was a, a, an avatar version. A physical manifestation of the, um, nothing. He didn't work for it, per, per se, as much as he was the embodiment of its personification as a physical creature that could speak, that could think. There's, there, like, the, uh, wants to be the boss. Make a motherfucking page come a running. So they can manhandle that. <laughs> Why? Manhandle it like a fucking animal. Or him. Or what? whoever. You know, make them wonder where their creativity and inspiration comes from. It's way in order to birth and then to become someone who's too scared to react. However, strangely enough, that's how they're behaving. Because, you know, it didn't work. Whatever they were trying to do, I don't fucking know. But it didn't work. So, there was probably an offer. Yeah, there was probably an offer given. I was going to say that backwards, but I don't need to. An offer was given, and that's the whole reason why this bitch went nuts, right? So, someone found a new toy to play with. They found a new playmate. But they really weren't looking for somebody new. But it just so happens that, like, you know, 
One kitty is much more angrier than the others. They aren't giving them shit. They are not getting shit from me. They're not getting coin. I make all the money. I do the none, none, none. This is like, okay, man. Just withholding. I, I'm, I'm the uh, well, uh, like, I, um, I'm the empress. You're not in a pentacle. That's your idea. Like, you're, you're, like, they're gonna decorate themselves, almost. I'm gonna start fresh and new. Just stays the same. Fuck it. Okay. I wonder if my hair gets long enough, would flipping my hair like a horse be cool or would it hurt? Because I don't know how, like, heavy locks are. I know they're heavy. I know they're heavier when they're wet, but I got questions. That's too many. Fine. Oh. It's, oh! Of course, it comes out. I don't know who this is supposed to be. It's Mort. But they lie! They get the King of Swords. Mind you, the Emperor is on this side. And we got the King of Swords reverse. Where they're saying, oh, you're taking their money and dragging them to their due. Mm. Yes, because that's what, like, skeleton bitches with uh, clocks in their teeth do. This person's lied about your intentions or looking at your intentions right now like you are doing something on the side. They look at you with this emperor energy and think that you're doing this shit to be a show-off. Look at him! Look at how he's standing! That bravado! Would you feel good about yourself if you did this to somebody? No, you would not, I would hope. Because I wouldn't. This person thinks that you enjoy it. They think that you like having a cape. Like your name is Elton John. Because boas are out of fashion now. But capes... Capes are always in fashion. Why we don't keep wearing capes? I don't know. We should bring cloaks and capes back, honestly. I should get me a cape. I would totally walk around town with a cape. Fuck it. There are weirder people out there than me. But it's like anything and everything they could say about you is just to make you worthless as Skamork is. But it's like... It, it doesn't seem like it's working on anybody but themselves. So, somebody, possibly you... If you're dealing with this fucking idiot, or at least you know of who they're dealing with, this isn't you. Isn't you are I, I mean, like you could be the Gamark watching. You could be one of these people who are doing this for, for the people who are seeing this within the first three to five days. This is not anything to do with you. Everybody else after maybe five days, it will be something to do with you. But the initial people who will see this, this isn't about you. You have a Gamork. But this is pretty much what's going to be their life for like a minute. <laughs> anyway, someone tried to dip into emotions like, you okay, man? They didn't get shit. This person's making a wait just to be like, ah, now you know how it feels like not to be treated a certain way. Motherfucker, like, why though? I don't know. This person doesn't love anybody. Or anything but themselves, if that. They think withdrawing their love is gonna help them avoid this tower. Which is not the same tower as the tower that I put down earlier, either. That, like, they, like, there was an actual event that's gonna happen. Then it's not what this person thinks it is. Like, they think they're avoiding one thing, but they have a whole other thing come along. And they're trying to avoid this. But it's this over here that they really need to be worried about, but they're not seeing it. They're, like... Oh, hot damn. <sighs> it 
and they think you need a reality check or at least the one on this side needs a reality check they just want to crush their dreams make them waste their time that way they can feel victorious well hot damn what do you know they care so much <laughs> But they never get the oh 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 mm. Give me more. Someone burned a fire back there, and they want to move forward to something that's a little bit more desolate and not very fruitful. But it's exactly what they wished for. I burned everything down just to get over here on this beach and be like, I wish for this, I wish for that. They got the offer they were asking for, but it's a dragon. The pentacle is upright. Yes, they got exactly what they wanted, but it's also a dragon. It is powerful. It is overwhelming. And it will eat your ass. Mate, well, I don't know. I don't, dude. Do you think dragons cook their food before they eat it like people do? It's not like they wouldn't have to. I mean, like, do you think? Do you think they would prefer a cooked cow over a, a raw cow, or because it's? Do you think dragons would have their own cooking shows? If they knew that enough of them would watch. I don't know. I, okay. No questions. Alright, so Queen of Cups is sitting here trying to take a nap. That just bothers a motherfucker. Something back here also bothers a motherfucker, but it's enough to bother him over here. This bitch is trying to sleep. This motherfucker is bothered, right? Because there's a secret behind all of this Ace of Cups, which is over here first. I've got enough love for the both of us. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm asleep. <laughs> There's some secret being sprouted about this love, though, because it's got two dogs barking like they're exposing shit. The motherfucker was burning. We've got problems now. They will never know. Ooh. Or this person's a burden because they know this person's just cutting them off. It's just like, no, dude, you bring some terrible, hateful energy. You're an absolute ass dude. You've literally been here to destroy my hopes and dreams and just ruin me and make me feel a certain type of way about myself. Did you ever come? Like, you've only come here because you think that I'm still suspended from this tower. And that's not even a tower you sh should be worried about. You're more worried about, like, whether or not you still have me on strings and you trying to make this sort of weird relationship right. Oh boy, I'm excited to see what, how that's gonna go, because a lot of people are getting that shit. Like, if people were getting um, help or support or certain things under guises or lies or desperation, and we're completely shitty to people about it, showing absolutely no gratitude, in fact, acting like this person wasn't doing a favor for them at all. No, it's not gonna be good. A lot of shit might fail. Someone might want to start praying, though. Oh, God, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. But she is not in order. He's trying to get in order. I love it. Oh. Poisoned by this fucking snake. Are you fucking shitting me? No, yeah, that's exactly. It. Say no, girl. Say no. <laughs> Say no. Oh my god. Please don't. Please. We'll do Kipper. As advice. My little rainbow Kipper.
Because I'm telling you right now, like, this person is just an energy of wanting the fucks with you. Possibly because they don't have anyone else. I don't know. His thoughts. He thinks. Oh, that was reversed. The gift. I'm putting that up right. Nikki wants to take something back. <laughs> This is like a guy who breaks up with you. He takes the cat litter he bought for your cat. It's like, what? What is wrong with you? Living room? Okay. Then there's loony thoughts. A high honor. Man, that's why she's so worried about their fucking reputation. Fucking thief. Like... <laughs> When you tell you try to steal someone's joy. It, like what did you expect? Of course you're gonna feel a certain type of way about your high honors. It's like um This person's thinking, you know, like they wanted to take the gifts back and then, then this is the living room they they have this understanding and like, oh man, like it's almost like, what about my reputation kind of feel? Which is still, like, that's a problem. Because this person still just does not understand that whatever this, I guess, relationship is, I'm not sure. Well, you kind of have to think about the other person who's your partner. It helps. I can't tell if it was on or they were even worried. Honestly, is it their honor? Or are they worried about, like, this other person having more honor than they do? Like, this person has more hope or something like that than they ever could produce. Which is, like... Then again, I guess that was the Gamork's issue to begin with. Mmm. Well, well. That sucks. I mean, like, this went out of their way to destroy someone, and they weren't even able to do that. They didn't even come close to the actual one from the book. Anyway, that's the reading. So, I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Take notes. Anyway, you be safe. Stay suspicious. Love your face. Bye-bye.